Hi guys, it's time for Question Tuesday. I wanna say three things before I get started. One, tonight I'm doing a live blog TV Question Tuesday hangout time. Uh, there's a link in the info, so come hang out around 8.30 Eastern Standard Time and it's gonna be fun. Two, if you didn't get the memo, I am doing Question Tuesday on Twitter now. So um, come on over, ask your questions, and you'll get your answers like, like that, it's amazing. And three, I'm really excited about what I'm sharing with you today. I asked for some questions via Twitter and the best question I got was someone asking, what my inspiration for this election was, and I love talking about this. Okay, the idea for this election came from thinking about two other stories, Esther and Cinderella. Now, if you're not familiar with Esther, I encourage you to go read that story. It's in the Bible under Esther. She's got her own book. In my personal opinion, Esther is pretty BA. Uh, she's a personal hero. I love her, love her, love her. And also, I think it's the only book in the Bible that doesn't use the word God, which has always been kind of cool to me. What happens to Esther is she gets taken off to this palace with, with a ton of other girls and uh, ends up winning the favor of the king and becoming the new queen. And I always wondered if before Esther left for the palace, if she liked some guy in town, just some average Joe that she had to get over. You know, she just had to let that love die. That's one of those details that the Bible skips over. I would really appreciate more in that area. Just saying. And Cinderella, we all know her story. She gets a dress, she goes to a party, gets a dude. But Cinderella never asked for a prince. She just asked for a night off. She wanted a night off and a dress. That's it. And she gets this prince and we assume that that means she gets her happily ever after. But what if she didn't? What if this guy was an absolute jerk and she regretted going to that party for the rest of her life? So I tried to answer those questions for myself through a character. I knew that there was this girl who would come from a very humble background but would somehow get the attention of this prince. But she would already be in love and she would not want that prince. And I knew that she would be a part of this event that she was very curious about but would lead to more crap than she was really ready to deal with. So that's the story behind the book. It just came from wondering about other things, a couple of what ifs, and it was really fun because I wrote it just for me. I think lots of times the best stories are the ones that you make up to entertain yourselves and I encourage you to try to do the same thing if you were trying to write. I hope you guys will come and hang out on blog TV tonight. I don't know what's going to go down and mostly that depends on you. So come on over and be awesome.